There's a new tool tonight in the war on heroin, and it brings hope that this could save lives here in the tri-state. Thank you once again for joining us for 9 on your side at 6. Right now, the treatment is underway in Florida. But the creators came to Cincinnati today to see if it can be used in the region. 9 on your side's Tom McKee was there for the presentation, and he's live with how it works and reaction to it. Tom? Well, Carol, right now, police, paramedics, and hospital workers use naloxone to revive heroin overdose victims, but they often see repeat users coming back again and again. This Palm Beach County, Florida program could not only save lives, but it might be able to get some people off opiates for good, and the key is the drug Suboxone. Dorothy McIntosh Shoemake listened carefully Tuesday as Captain Houston Park pitched the Suboxone Detox Program to WCPO's Heroin Advisory Board. Her interest is fueled by the overdose death of her daughter, Allison, two years ago at age 18. I don't want any other mother to feel what I have felt. Captain Park outlined steps being used by Palm Beach County Fire and Rescue. Suboxone is given at the hospital, EMS squads give home doses for eight consecutive days, and then the patient follows up with behavioral programs. Patients that do the Suboxone treatment in a rapid detox environment, usually one week, have shown success rates sometimes as high as 80 percent. Addiction treatment specialist Dr. Mike Kalfas compared medically assistant treatment to a loaded handgun. If you're careful with it, you respect it, you know what you're doing, you use it appropriately, it's a good thing it saves people's lives, it makes them safe. If you wave it around foolishly, people get hurt. Cincinnati Fire Chief Richard Braun was briefed on the program as well. First off, the plus is getting the people off the heroin. That's the number one. Uh, the second is it, it starts to lessen the burden on your EMS system and the hospital system. But the cost and following up with paramedics pose challenges. We don't have the extra staffing to do that right now. These advisory board members agree the goal has to be trying anything to stop a disease that claims lives every day. We'll take all the tools we can get because this epidemic is way too fast. Too many people are dying and like Allison, too young. Now, Palm Beach County hopes to pay for the program using federal dollars. I also reached out and talked to another addiction treatment specialist, Dr. Sean Ryan, today. He questions the program's value in many regards and saying treatments like this should be done within established medical protocols. Carol?